Hey Pisces Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. I hope y'all are doing amazing. Let's go ahead and get a reading done for you all. Um, a general reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Flip the rules if you need to. Could be past, present, or future energy or someone else around you. I am picking up on, so we have Gemini, we have the Sun, which is Leo energy, and then we have the number four. And I call that my... um fourth house card i mean fourth house die die uh, which is all about the heart and the home could involve a cancer could involve your mother could be a maternal figure or someone you have children with okay the number four is all about stability structure foundations okay people places things mindsets all of that so let's say it could be land roots but the sun represents happiness the sun is all about um the conscious mind and the ego. And it also represents optimism and good health. And yeah, you could be dealing with a Gemini or have Gemini placements. Let's see what you got, what you get here. So we have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. I swear, Pisces, Capricorn, and Gemini always come out in each other's readings. We have the Devil, more Capricorn energy. We have the Seven of Wands, Leo energy. And we have the Knight of Wands, a Sagittarius energy. Uh, something is being blocked for your highest good here. The sign could be truth being illuminated on something. Yeah, look at that. You could be on Aquarius Pisces cusp, or you could be dealing with an Aquarius. There's somebody that's in your energy. You could be committed to this person, but it might be time for you to walk away, Pisces. That's your own energy. Something is emotionally unfulfilling here, and you know it. But you could be staying just because you're married. The Hierophant can represent the institution of marriage, and it's the kind of person that will stay in a marriage just because on paper it looks good or morally it's the right thing to do. It's about morals, values, ethics, all of that good stuff. Also, maybe worried about um, people judging you so you conform. This is like indoctrination here. But somebody could be running away from this connection with you. Aquarius, Taurus, and Pisces energy. Oh, I'm going to put the cards back. Okay, what's the Queen of Pentacles? This is someone you've nurtured. Maybe even to your own detriment. What is this? What's the Queen of Pentacles? Oh, yeah, let me put my laundry in the um, dryer real quick. Hold on. I forget. Okay, what's the Queen of Pentacles here? Somebody could be pregnant. You're going to have like a one night stand. Like this is somebody with a high sex drive, y'all. I feel like somebody's trying to come your way that's toxic and they're being blocked. And you're focused on your money. Just looking at the order of these cards. What's the Queen of Pentacles? This relationship, <laughs> Two of Cups. You could be um, getting into a business partnership. This could be a queen of pentacles who wants to invest in you. This could be a woman who owns a business here who maybe wants to partner with you. But I was going to say your relationship. I just see, I see the king of pentacles, y'all. It could be a counterpart coming in, a true counterpart, a soulmate. Wow. Wow. What did I just say? Ten of Cups, that's Pisces energy, okay? That's happily ever after. That's a, that's domestic bliss, okay? Marriage, the kids, the picket fence, the dogs, all of that, right? And then we got the Three of Pentacles, which is also can represent marriage, and it's Capricorn energy. Some of y'all, I mean, this could be what you were focused on. I was going to say your relationship here, something from your past emotionally has been blocking your finances. But I'm, look, I'm seeing some kind of collaborative effort take place here, some kind of teamwork. This is about a learning curve. You could be training for a job. Somebody wants to mentor you, I feel. Somebody wants to invest in you. And you could also be finding new love with another Pisces, a Cancer, or a Capricorn. What's the devil? This unhealthy relationship, the justice with the Page of Swords. I'm telling you, some of y'all are married or something and you're staying because you're worried about prying eyes, people watching you, people gossiping about you if you don't make the uh, marriage work. Libra or Christ and Gemini is here. You could be dealing with someone younger than you, or you could have children with this person. There could just definitely be this feeling of feeling stressed 
and not wanting other people to judge the fact that your relationship didn't work out. But something is being blocked. What if this talks about having weak boundaries, y'all? I keep dropping the cards on the floor. Look at this. Ten of Wands. Not learning how you, this is you learning how to say no after not knowing how to say no. Sagittarius energy. Setting better boundaries with people with the Ten of Wands is all about. Leaving something to fate with the Four of Wands. This is a marriage that's been burdensome. With an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Leo for some of you, a fire sign. I'm going to just name your, um the title of your reading is going to be, this fire sign got to go. Because whoever this fire sign is, they're a problem. It could be any other sign, but I'm seeing a lot of fire energy. What's this Knight of Wands? I feel like they could even be... Somebody can have addictions. Nine of Pentacles. This is you moving forward, being by yourself, enjoying the fruits of your labor, Virgo energy. Your opposite sign. Mm, that could even be somebody you're about to meet. Will of Fortune. See, Spirit, I told you it's being blocked. This is divine intervention. And it's like, I want you to be single and focus on yourself right now. I'm seeing somebody get a new car, buying new furniture, fixing their home up, maybe remodeling or um, renovations to your home. Maybe even a move, traveling. But there's somebody here who has kept you in this loop. They've tested you and they may be coming back to test you again. And this is you being independent and self-sufficient, no longer being codependent, okay? Ace of Pentacles, something stable is coming in for you. Oh, with the Empress and the, the Magician? Oh, you're manifesting abundance like crazy. All three of those cards are you manifesting abundance. Willpower. Is what this is all about. Exercising your willpower to resist this person. Focused on yourself. Nurturing yourself. You're leveling up from a queen of pentacles to an empress. You could be getting pregnant by this new person. I'm seeing a new love. I'm seeing a really peaceful relationship come in. And there's that queen, uh, king of pentacles. He came out anyway. X person looks like they're going to want to fight over you. But nobody cares. <laughs> nobody cares. The fire sign got to go. Okay, so let's see Pisces. Let's get a chakra card, a chakra wisdom card for you. I want to take the one here. Third chakra, the solar plexus, self-discipline. Mm -hmm. It says my self-discipline and willpower. Didn't I just say willpower? Will significantly, significantly help me in my efforts to move forward and grow. I just literally said that. I am free of the need of the approval for others didn't i tell y'all with the hierophant that this was you worried about whether people would judge you for leaving some kind of burdensome marriage or something here that's actually being blocked it doesn't have to be a marriage you live with this person you date them whatever it is they're non-committal though i don't care if you're married dating living together oh well, i'm showing you the card um it says i face each challenge with determination and courage and i am determined to live my life to its full potential and this is why you have this here being independent the Knight of Wands is very courageous, up for the challenge. And this is you being single and being able to go with the flow, trusting the process, rolling with the punches here. Wow. I am strong and capable and my actions speak louder than my words. And you can't make that up, y'all, because guess what you pulled? Guess what you pulled? The King of Pentacles. Action speaks louder than words. I am done. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Pisces. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you all next time. The fire sign got to go. Peace.